Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets wobbled ever so slightly yesterday, only after the US ISM numbers uh, coming out, uh, providing that the US economy is uh, once again doing better than initially thought, prompted most global markets just to get that little bit higher. We still finished down yesterday in the US 30, but we're in positive territory this morning above 17.075. We're still eyeing 17.151 as the next potential resistance. Looking at the UK 100, uh, we've actually broken up that little bit higher, smashing through 68.32, now eyeing up 68.74. Decent bit of momentum right here. And I can say on the intraday charts that the UK 100 is still going great guns actually this morning. And uh, that longer term potential resistance at 69.66 uh, could be in, uh, in play, but we do have to break through this first potential resistance so far. So uh, things looking relatively okay, uh, but we do have quite a significant resistance to break through. Um, Japan 225 stopped dead in its tracks at potential resistance yesterday. I had a fantastic session um, up, up almost 2% at 15,828, only to reverse down a little bit this morning. Um, but you know the cabinet reshuffle is still going quite well. Dollar yen is really where uh, most of the action is right now. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and have a look at that chart just now. Um, we mentioned there was a slight decouple. Look at this massive breakout through here. It smashed 104, spot 67. And almost briefly got close to 105 spot 44. A break and close above that would be the highest that dollar yen has been in over five years. Um, so I, I think that would be certainly significant. And the movement that we've seen here is a testament to the, the fact the US dollar is going great guns right now. And uh, we are in the middle of two ranges right now. Potential support now at 104 spot 67. Potential resistance 105 spot 44. Dollar yen is uh, certainly going to be in play over the next couple of sessions. West Texas crude has broken right back through potential support again, smashing through 95 spot 40, lower than it's been for a large number of months, eyeing up 92 spot 85 now. And then after that, uh, and the failure to break higher is probably going to add that little bit of extra pressure on there. You'd be looking at 91 spot 25 as the next potential support. Uh, we are floating around a little bit today, but um, we do seem to be stuck in this uh, in, in this kind of uh, pattern. You've got downwards action spike up, downwards action spike up. Could be the next start of a downwards action before we get another spike. So just be wary of 92 spot 85 and 91 spot 25 if you are currently bearish on West Texas crude. So gold, um, with all this US dollar strength out there, it's not surprising it got hit hard yesterday, down about 1.7% at one point. Now below potential support at 12.67. Um, I probably need to actually start removing some of these levels. Uh, next potential support on here, should that be broken, you are looking at a significant low point down there, 12.41, uh, if we get a directional move down to the downside right there. Um, but the pressure, fundamentals and technicals are on. Um, and obviously we, we still have a, a fair amount of economic data to come out. Um, looking at uh, Euro dollar, um, one spot 31.07, a bounce yesterday was provided. Uh, pressure remains, obviously ECB meeting tomorrow. Um, everybody will be waiting to, uh, to see that. And uh, obviously one spot 30.00 is the next potential support should one spot 31.07 break. Um, if there is not monetary stimulus and there is um, depending on the rhetoric as well from the, from the meeting, um, you could see quite a volatile session on euro dollar, uh, especially if things end up being more hawkish than dovish, perhaps. Seems unlikely, but you never know. Uh, just be careful if you're trading euro dollar. So looking at GBP USD, I got hit hard yesterday. Surprising because there's actually some good figures coming out of the out of the UK, or what I thought, presumed to be good figures incidentally. Um, but the dollar is, uh, is just pushing on higher. So one spot 64, 63 is a potential support and a break and close below that opens up the next potential level a good bit lower looking at about 62.60 uh, and that, is, that provides itself quite a decent amount of downside if that breaks which is not done yet it bounced there slightly this morning but not with a lot of rigor so in regards to economic data you've got a eurozone german and uk pmi early morning uk wise then nothing much that exciting and then Thursday, you have interest rate, the Bank of England, that's not going to change, ADP private payrolls, jobless claims, uh, ECB meetings, uh, trade balance data, non-manufacturing business index. Tomorrow's actually got a lot of stuff. And there's a whole bunch of central bank um, uh, meetings on there, which won't be showing up in our economic calendar, but they are there. Uh, and just be mindful that you know Thursday promises to be an interesting day for a lot of major bits of data. Keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.